available today. I'm making creamy baked chicken. I was talking to my daughter about my grandmother and how wonderful every time we went into that house, how the how the house always smelled so wonderful from the cooking and the baking and everything. And I, for the life of me, I can't figure it out. I'm guessing maybe in those days they used a different kind of herb that we're using, you know, for some kind of season, and we just don't know. But grandmother, Grandma Elizabeth and Grandma Bessie were fantastic bakers. Let me just get this cut up. And they, you know, basically I try to make the same thing as they make, but no matter what we do, we can't get, we can't get that same smell that we used to have, but we do our best we can. And I'm sure Grandma Elizabeth made creamy chicken bake. She made everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some chicken tenders. Make sure you fry the stick butter. That was another thing Grandma Elizabeth always used with stick butter. There we go. Now we're going to pop this back on the stove. Now what I want to do is I want to cook this for just a few minutes, but I have to wash my hands before I touch the seasoning because I'll be back in one second. I'm going to load this with seasoning, salt and garlic powder. And I'm sure she added something else, which I have no idea what it is. I wish I knew, but we're going to... This is the kind of butter she used with stick butter. This is going to melt right into it and a lot of garlic powder. And we're going to put this on the stove and we're going to pop this into the stuff. Then we're going to put the... the uh, creamy uh, mixture over it. I'm going to show you what it is a little bit later. We're going to put the cream, we use cream of mushroom soup. Most likely my grandmother homemade her cream of mushroom soup. I can't prove it, but I have to be very careful because my daughter does not like cream of mushroom soup. Okay, we're just going to drain it. We're going to probably put the rest on when we're just about done. I'm going to make sure the chicken's done. Okay. We're going to pop this in the oven. Wait a minute, there's one piece that hasn't gotten it. Here we go. I'm going to pop this in the oven and cook this for about five minutes. We want everything to be cooked into it. So it's, we know that the chicken is done. About five minutes. Here we have a delicious chicken bake. This goes great over a bed of ice. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um, let's take care of this. All right. That was my husband. He doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. Mm -hmm. We'll put some of this creamy mixture over this, and we're going to grab a little bit more from the oh, soup yeah. from the pot in a minute. Okay, here we go. It's a, it's like a creamy delicious. It, it's kind of on a little bit, but it's so delicious. It's so yummy. I mean, I absolutely love this. Okay, I'm going to grab some green beans. Just douse it over here. Okay. And here we have a delicious creamy chicken bake with cream and mushroom soup. Grandma Elizabeth's house and Grandma Bessie's house had a unique smell. And I tell you folks, I have no idea how that how, where that smell came from. Deborah Wade's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to one wonderful YouTube channel.